friend, welcome. If we haven't met yet, I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I list them on eBay and Poshmark, and I sell them hopefully for a profit. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, and I have eight items that I'm shipping. So three of these items are from eBay that sold in the last 24 hours. The rest of them are from Poshmark, and they sold like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, I went camping over the weekend with my kids. Well, not really the weekend. And just only yesterday, yesterday only shipped my eBay stuff. These are insoles by Red Wings. And I have had a lot of success selling these. I find them at this Salvation Army rummage sale. And, um, they're new the box is totally trashed so I'm just gonna put it in a um, poly mailer because is the box I mean the box isn't even gonna do anything anyway I do I did note that the box was trashed in the listing so I usually give you sell through rate and um, average sell price some comp information um, I decided not to do that today because I have a pretty massive headache. So if I'm a little like lower energy than normal or quieter than normal, that might be why. But I just decided to give myself a little bit of a break of not staring at the television. Squeaky door, sorry. Yeah, kiddo. All right, so those insoles sold for $21 plus shipping on eBay. So they paid a total of $27.55. Um, I did have them, I upped all my promotions on eBay to 7% and I think all three of the items that I sold were promoted. So maybe that's helping. I'm not sure. Uh, it feels a little steep, especially the other two items sold for more money and it was like, oh, that's a lot. 7% <laughs> adds up real fast. Um, yeah, I've had those for six months. I paid a dollar and so my profit is $17.21. This is a Carhartt shirt. It's very heavy weight. Um, almost feels like a pair of jeans, if I'm being honest. And I always show this, but I'm going to show it again because it's awesome. I love Carhartt for this. Uh, there's a number on the tag here, and that is the like style code. So all you do is put that number in to any search that you want to put it in, and that will tell you the um the sell through rate so no guessing it's delightful <laughs> uh this one sold for 19 dollars on poshmark and i got it for seven months i have no idea where i got it i don't know i have a five dollar cost of goods on there which i don't know depending on what the comp said might have been worth five dollars i'm not really sure um, anyway, my profit is only $10.34 because of that higher cost of goods. I do have access to quite a few sourcing opportunities where my cost of goods are very low. And I'm very, very grateful for that. I realize that that is not everyone's situation. Um, however, most of the time, I don't find higher average sell price items. So that's kind of the trade-off. I do sometimes, I'm not saying never, just it's more rare. I'm getting better at finding them because I'm getting better at knowing what those items are. I told you all that information. All right, this, I thought the skirt was so cute and I paid too much for it, but let's see, is this the front or the back? This is the front. <laughs> um, it's kind of that scuba material, you know, it's like squishy, like a, like a scuba diver outfit, uh, but it has that lace up. It's that plaid little, I don't know, kind of a skater shirt, skirt, very Britney Spearsy, which is why I bought it. Hot Topic. I also at that time was kind of looking for that brand for some reason. I've had this for a year, so I either didn't actually know what I was doing, which is most likely. Uh, or didn't, I probably didn't put the right keywords that I needed to put in for this particular skirt. Um, I had it listed for 
like $28. And I don't, like I said, I didn't double check all the comps. So that might have been too high. Somebody offered, it was like a back and forth offer. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Like I had offered 20%. And then last weekend, I did 30% on Poshmark. And then they offered like another percent in you know, like 40 percent so they offered me 15 and I knew I'd had it for a really long time so I didn't realize I had paid so much for it but that's okay sometimes you have to sell things well I'm saying this to myself not you um sometimes I have to sell things that I think should sell for more for less even if I paid more for them and just take a lower profit Anyway, this sold for $15. On Poshmark, I paid $5 for it a year ago. I had Goodwill. I think it was my Goodwill. I think it was the Goodwill in Fort Wayne. Anyway, three, or sorry, six fifty-three dollars is my profit on that, which, you know, not good. But that's okay. It's still profit, and it's out, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> And these, I like, oh, squeaky door, sorry. Yeah, kiddo. Yeah. You want to have a soda? Yeah, you can have a soda. You might want to wear shorts. It's going to be warm out. Um, I, I leave some of my interruptions in. I actually take out quite a few. <laughs> uh, but I leave some interruptions in because, uh... I would never be able to do this on a daily basis if I edited the way I probably should edit. And also, um, it just, it's real life for me. So these are Oshkosh overalls. I love selling Oshkosh overalls. These are not vintage, um, but they're corduroy. And they took 11 months to sell. So there's that. <laughs> Uh, definitely went through the fall a little bit of fall and winter last year too so it's not like I listed them in the summer and they're just now selling you know what I mean um if I find Oshkosh overalls in the two dollar or less range I usually buy them and they usually sell around the fifteen dollar range um I try to find them if they're cute if there's something like kind of special about them or if they're vintage uh, these sold for $20 on Poshmark, which was great. Uh, that was full price. I bought them for $2, like I said, 11 months ago after fees and my cost of goods. My profit is $14.16. So I do wrap everything in tissue paper and add a little thank you sticker. I just buy the cheapest I can find on Amazon and it works for me most of the time. Um, Poshmark, you can use whatever priority mailing uh, supplies you want. So I use these Tyvek mailers for the most part, and I'm realizing I didn't put stickers on the other package. Uh, I don't think that the ends don't close very well on these. This, and I'm always afraid they're going to rip open. So these priority mail stickers you can also get. Uh, I just put on the ends to kind of keep them down. Now all of the priority mail, squeaky door, sorry. All of the hard enough time staying on target on task on topic when I don't have a headache <laughs> it's a lot worse than I do I'm sorry all of the priority mail supplies you can get on usps.com for free you do have to pay for the shipping label to send them and you can only use the items with a priority label um Poshmark does uh, provide the label for you when you sell something on there. Okay, I think I covered all of that. If I didn't and I didn't say something and you want more information, please leave me a comment. I am super behind on my comments uh, because I was off for a week and then it just, I just got, I couldn't, uh, 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 <laughs> 
That's what I have to say about that. Uh, I just haven't gotten back on track with keeping up with comments, but I really try hard to respond to everyone and answer questions if possible. This is a cardigan, super cute. It is a linen blend, it's pure gel, which is one of my favorites. It does have this like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a texture, kind of open weave, um, kind of like a triangle cut out in the back. It's really cute. This is one of those things that I would totally wear in the spring, summer, and fall. It's great. But it wasn't my size. That's okay. This sold really fast. And actually, the rest of the items I have sold really fast. Just cool. Sold for $22 on Poshmark. Man, they're just in and out today. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's so funny because some people are like, I love the squeaky door. I love the interruptions. And some people are like, I hate the interruptions. <laughs> And I, you know, not every YouTube channel is for everyone. That's what I have to say about that. Uh, and I just totally ignored her, that poor girl. Mm. Sorry, kiddo. I try not to ignore my children very often. Um, $22 on <laughs> Poshmark. That's where we were. Uh, three weeks it only took to sell, which is great. I thought with it being linen, it was going to take a little longer. So I'm very pleased with that. It took, uh, I bought it for $2 at a local thrift store. And that makes my profit $16.03. Alright, this is has kind of a funny story. So... Hey, I'm sorry I ignored you. What did you need earlier, honey? Oh, um... What are we doing? Uh, 9.30. Okay, so it's 9-something. Okay, well then soon. This is like a chore slash barn coat. <laughs> My word. Oh, yay, yay. Um, <clears throat> it's Brandon Thomas is the brand. I don't know. But the corduroy collar is a good thing. Was this one? This one's made in Bangladesh. They're made in the US, they're even better. But it's just that like style, kind of the patch pockets here with the like, they're nice flap pockets. And just very like boxy, rectangular chore coat. I have so much success selling these and for decent money. And no matter the brand, if it's a known brand that's even better but I was concerned about the green corduroy collar because usually the corduroy collars are brown um but this sold in three weeks so so yeah yesterday I think I had this listed for fifty dollars yeah I had it listed for fifty and when I had sent the 30% off offer, I had sent a $35 offer and on Poshmark and somebody countered at 20 and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> and so I countered back at 35 again and then they countered at 24 and I was going to counter again at 35 and decided to just leave it. I was like, no, they're going to come, you know, I don't know. I don't know what was going to happen, but I just decided to leave it. And then somebody sent me a $40 offer on eBay. And I was like, that's much more reasonable. Um, I send out 20% off offers regularly anyway. That's what 20% would be. So I was happy with that. So it sold for $40 plus shipping on eBay. They paid a total of $50.90. I bought it at uh, a local thrift store for $2.50. It's been listed for about three weeks and my profit is $30.94, which is phenomenal. A few of these, when I ship on eBay, I use calculated shipping. I give them an option of ground advantage or priority. Since I offered the option, I don't think anyone's chosen priority. Um, so I just use Ground Advantage 
and um, I have two different sizes of poly mailers that I use and I just put this one in a bigger one. Um, all of my like supplies and stuff are linked in the description box. This is a Nike jacket. I don't know where it came from. It has like a hood that is hidden. I don't know. I put it on Poshmark or I put it on Oh, here we go. I'll get there. Give me a second. I listed it for $20 because I'm not good at all this Nike stuff, <laughs> this active wear stuff. Um, I know some of it can be worth a lot of money. And I know even just buying a jacket like this in a, you know, a regular store, not necessarily like the Nike store, I know that can be really expensive, but I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to like athletic wear. So anyway, based on comps, I priced it at like $19 or $20 <clears throat> and it was a full price sale. It was only listed for a week on eBay. I'm sorry, on Poshmark <laughs> and it sold for $20 on Poshmark. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Um. Let me say something about this. Oh, I don't know where it came from. So I have no cost of goods on it. It was just like in my pile one day. I don't know where I bought you. I don't know. I think. Oh, my stomach just rumbled very loudly. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I heard it, but it was inside my body. So, okay. Um, I had in the spring, my daughter and her, one of my teenage daughters and one of her best friends were taking pictures for me. And over the summer, they just didn't, they weren't taking pictures. And in this fall, they both have gotten super busy, even more busy than they were before. And so neither of them are taking pictures for me. But I think um, my daughter does paint or was doing pants and her friend was doing shirts that way I could just teach them each one thing to do really well. And um, I, so I think this ended up in the tops section thing for uh, my daughter's friend. And I think it came back to me because for some reason it didn't end up in like my inventory thing. That's my, that's my thought of what happened with it, but I don't know for sure. Okay. I'm almost done, which is good for both of us. You know what? I see, I'm so out of it. My gross sales for today was $273.52. <sighs> this is really good. And it sold pretty fast. And I'm going to have to, I'm just going to show it to you. Um, and then I'll, after I... After I say goodbye, I'll wrap it up and stuff because I'm going to lay roll it and stuff. But this is a suit. So these are the pants and my stomach. And this is this. I mean, it's a suit. I don't, if you've seen a suit, you know what this looks like. Anyway, it's Lauren Ralph Lauren. It is 100% wool and it's made in Canada. That's all I've got. <laughs> Uh, it sold for $79.97, so I had it listed for $100, offered 20% off, and it sold. Um, they paid a total of $99.07 with shipping. I paid a ton of money in fees, and it was listed for one month. I've had it for longer uh, because I sold it before, and it was returned. And so since the return, it's only been listed for a month. I don't remember how long it I had it before that, but anyway, my profit ends up being fifty nine oh six. I did pay seven seventy five for it um, originally, so um, when it was returned, it was just returned due to fit, which is kind of common for suits. It stinks, but <laughs> it is what it is. Hopefully, this will not be the case this one and it will go to a good home so i'm gonna lint roll it real fast and put it just in another bag 
like this. So, and another big bag because it's sold on eBay. All right, my total gross sales amount was $170. Not gross, that's not gross. My total profit was $170.51. I wish that was for one day, but it was for partially one day and then partially over the weekend. But that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't. I do these um, interrupted daily videos where I just share what sells on a regular basis for a part-time reseller. Um, I did something a little different with my lighting. If you care, if you have an opinion, let me know if it's better or worse. I was, I was hoping it was gonna be nice and sunny and I could use natural light today, but that was not the case. So my husband was watching the video yesterday and he was like, your lighting is terrible. So I played around with it a little bit today. Let me know. All right, I am blabbing again at the end. Shocker, I know. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.